It's Here and Now on KJZZ. I'm Steve Goldstein. Joining us this hour is John Murphy, president and CEO of the Flynn Foundation, a local philanthropic organization that supports bioscience, medical education, and the arts. Mr. Murphy is also a member of the Governor's Council on Innovation and Technology. Mr. Murphy, good morning. Good morning. Also here is Michael Behrens, Director of Cancer and Cell Biology Research at the Translational Genomics Research Institute, or TGEN. Dr. Behrens also chairs the Arizona Technology Council. Dr. Behrens, thanks for being here. It's a pleasure to be here. If you'd like to join the discussion, you can call 480-774-8200. That's 480-774-8200. We also welcome your questions and comments online at kjzz.org. Dr. Behrens, let me start with you. This concept of personalized medicine, what else do we need to know about this, and how quickly can this be developed? Well, the speed of development is going to be dependent upon the key partnerships matched with technology that allow the scientists and the clinicians to work in partnership to identify key biomarkers or signals in a patient's specimens. Ideally, would be a blood sample or maybe a urine sample that would be a way for the clinicians at some point down the road to say, we've found markers that would indicate someone is at risk of a certain disease. So the, the speed is dependent upon those critical partnerships between the clinicians and the scientists and the technologists that develop uh, those strategies to move forward. John Murphy, the concept sounds very exciting, but what excites you specifically about the Center for Personalized Medicine idea? Uh, there are two things, I think. First of all, uh, and uh, Judy Mraz said initially, uh, it's attracting a stellar uh, leadership team, uh, both in a Nobel laureate, but also blending that with the two leaders, George Post at Arizona State University and uh, Jeff Trent at uh, TGen, that will set this apart. And then secondly, this will really a, be a complement to what TGen is able to do already in terms of genomic analysis. I want to slide into the leadership question on that because several people may have read in the paper last week uh, about the people who are involved in the leadership, a former Nobel Prize winner. John Murphy, address that for us. How, why is personnel so important uh, to get a name, someone who's established in this field, to really give it credibility? Well, what, what Lee Hartwell brings beyond the credentials of being a Nobel laureate and the prizes that he's uh, received and the recognition, he is the head, uh, president and CEO of the Fred Hutchinson Cancer Research Center in Seattle, uh, one of the premier cancer research centers in this country. Secondly, he is, uh, holds a number of other positions, including being chair of an international biomarker consortium in cancer research, uh, which brings um, that level. Plus, he also chairs a, a major panel on uh, Asian uh, health care issues uh, that's been supported by the Gates Foundation. So you see you bring an illustrious cast in addition to one single individual. Michael Burns, let's talk a little bit more about personalized medicine in and of itself. I know that uh, there have been expressions of excitement about the fact that we can perhaps spot diseases long before people get them. And, of course, that means the question of I don't know, insurance companies come up and this sort of thing. So wh what's the best we could possibly hope for? If we really shoot for the sky, what's the best we can hope for in terms of personalized medicine? Well, I think one of the things that I'd like to anticipate from personalized medicine would be a massive reduction of untoward side effects or bad outcomes from therapy. So eliminating toxicities or misplaced therapy that was applied with good intent, but for reasons that presently we don't understand, it, it's very harmful for the patient. So that's not necessarily the therapeutic benefit, but boy, some early advances that would say, can we avoid missteps on the way in better therapeutics by not giving people medicines that their body is not gonna accommodate very well. That's a, and that should be one of the earliest things that starts to show up. We know who not to treat with certain agents, current therapeutics, and then how do we enrich patients for the optimized therapy based on characteristics and profiles of that patient's genetic makeup, their biochemistry that's in their blood, biomarkers that we can detect. So how do we guide the selection or identification of features of the patient and their disease so that the right, most specific therapy is applied? That, that really is the hallmark of personalized medicine. Mm -hmm.